My name is Travis Atkins and I'm the Senior Director for Public Policy and Government Relations with Interaction. I first got started in the field of interaction uh, basically through my childhood passion for Africa, which was cultivated by my mother and my family. Uh, essentially, after seeing famine and disease and warfare in various countries uh, on the continent, I had a question about why people had to live this way. I was led to interaction after I left Capitol Hill where I was the staff director for the House Subcommittee on Africa and in that position focused on you know global issues and foreign affairs from a congressional perspective I realized really the importance of advocacy. And what motivates me to do this work every day is the memories I have of uh, working in development overseas in various countries, uh, working in humanitarian situations, refugee and IDP camps and thinking about the women and children uh, who were there, thinking about sometimes the men who were there, but also the men who were absent because they had lost their lives in war or conflict, trying to protect uh, their families. And, you know, having a sense that people shouldn't have to live this way and that any time there's a, si a situation where people are living without their dignity, uh, that that's a place that I want to be and that's an effort uh, that I want to contribute to. If I could share any message with Interaction members, I would start with two words, and those words would be thank you. Uh, thank you for your service, thank you for your commitment, thank you for prioritizing the needs of less fortunate people um, in the world, and I, I think also uh, that those folks should be supported, that those folks should be honored, and that those folks should be given all the adequate resources uh, to do the life-saving work that they do. As an aspiring author working on a memoir, I would title it To Those Who Believe. And the reason why is because I think for me, belief is the core of the reason why I've been able to be successful in life. Belief in myself, belief in my community, belief in the essential goodness of other human beings. And essentially what I'm saying is that no matter where you're born, no matter what your zip code is, no matter the circumstances of your life, if you have sufficient amount of belief in yourself and you act on it, that positive things can happen.